Thank you for coming, everybody. I'm Bat Boy, and this is our gallery director. I'm Ingrid. Ooh, ooh. So nice of you to tune in to us so that I can talk over Ingrid and show you all of my paintings. Um, I am going to talk about my paintings. I'm seriously now the serious Bat Boy. Um, I did a I did a series of paintings about Canada geese. Canada geese are one of my favorite subject matters because much like me, beloved by Canada, but like to travel abroad. That's just like me. And uh, I think they make wonderful symbols of our city. I grew up in Ottawa, so a lot of them are about my own life. In fact, this one at the top is uh, their geese on O'Connor Street. And I lived for many years on O'Connor Street when I was younger with my mom. And in fact, that's her house there. And all of those are houses and buildings that are along O'Connor Street. And um, this is, this once again, the Glebe, many of my favorite buildings. Um, I would say that what I do is I like to take a scene and I have a sort of medieval way of looking at things so that I can just paint the things that I choose and not see things that I don't want to see. And I actually live on Browns Inlet, which is this little tiny little lake over here. And uh, so these two geese, there's very local for me. I'm just going to use those words. Off the board, but that's the way it is. Oh, and I guess it really is local because here, this is the house that I grew up in um, near Dow's Lake. There we go. How homey could that be? Um, and speaking of homey, this is my grade school. Uh, also in the Glebe, it's on 5th Avenue, it's Ottawa's oldest public school. And I actually did, spent two years in this classroom for both grade four and grade five. That was my classroom there. And I just loved it much more. It was like sort of old and Victorian and dreary and I loved everything about it from the tin ceilings to the spooky basement. This is what the original school looked like. And when I was a child, they still had these, the original windows. Uh, they've all been replaced now. Uh, and that's what they used to look like. They were all divided in three panels and stuff. And I used to love it. They had all the little wooden squares, like the little tiniest tiny cornice on each window and like I said the tin ceilings and I love everything about it. I used to go to the bathroom and I like just wander around and pretend that it was my palace. This is the corner store once again on O'Connor Street. I spent many years living near that corner store and have all sorts of nostalgia about it. I'm not especially nostalgic about Hollywood Parade, which is what features in this building, but it, it is, uh, it's a little bit unique for Ottawa and uh, one of Ottawa's most interesting brick buildings. And I like brickwork. I'm really interested in brickwork and hidden information in them. If you know how to read bricks, they tell you all sorts of things about the building. You just have to know how to look. Um, I'm going to move on though to my series of giraffe paintings and uh, I, I've had the giraffe sort of lingering around in the background for several years and I really wanted to bring them forward into my language of painting and yeah, I, I don't know, they're just mysterious and beautiful and graceful. And I've done a number of paintings of them, but I've never painted a whole bunch of them at once. So I thought, oh, this is time for me to bring them all out and 
bring them out and as I said, make them part of my language of paintings in the same way that goldfish and Canada geese are. And um, yeah, I'm interested in them because they're exotic and almost urban, but at the same time, they're like wild and mysterious and strange and they seem so illogical. Giraffes, what I like about them. You can imagine them really fitting into a nightclub in New York, but at the same time, like, you know, there's nowhere to put them. And that's sort of what the story of this painting is, is like, where do we put the giraffes in the 21st century world where we're like using up our whole planet? Like, where is the space for giraffes? Anyway, I know they're not especially Canadian, but you know, once again, I, I, I think it's because of the, the excitement of the exotic that really draws me, that really draws me to them. The last series of paintings are all about Ottawa. And uh, particularly at night, I've always done a lot of paintings at night. Uh, I've always been interested in the night sky. And when I was a child, of course, we knew so, so little about the night sky. And now we know so much more. We know so much more that we just have more questions about it. And the sky has become this has changed from being this blue thing full of stars and it's become this, it's become something else where we're questioning about, you know, like about other intelligence and life in it and we're no longer seeing it as a dead cold space, but as a place that's like full of everything. I must say, in reality, the colors of these are really like magical. They're just glowing here, and I just love all the little lights on and all the different houses. And you wonder what is everybody doing in their homes and the cats, and there's so much life and energy. I love these, uh, these pieces, are yeah, so and really magical. Of course, we need the people to ask the questions about the stars in the sky. Yeah. And because um, we and it's the contrast between us. I also associate the stars and at night with being cold a little bit, and I I think of that coldness as going hand in hand with the night, and that is part of it. For my last three paintings, uh, they were inspired by Group of Seven painting, which uh, the Group of Seven painted all things Canadian. And uh, being from Ottawa, I wanted to do the institutions of Ottawa, but in a Canadian way. And so that's what I've tried to do. Um, just put these buildings in, yeah, putting them in Canada, but also into context in space, once again, because I'm putting the night sky in there, because our new reality is that we don't live in the universe alone. My favorites in these are, uh, I painted these comets in the sky. Uh, a whole bunch of them have comets. Uh, but I also have, a lot of them have little planets, sort of very, they're almost hidden in the sky. There's another one over here. And yeah, Do you know, it's just a surreal outlet for my energy after 
very carefully painting all this representational stuff is really nice for me to be able to just sort of freeform create what I what I feel. And I really, you know, I really do really put my soul into every painting. Every painting has a little tiny piece of me in it that you could own. It is a pleasure to be here at Orange Gallery, 290 City Centre Drive, Ottawa. So please come join us. Thank you, Bad Boy, very much for this. Um, all the paintings are available online for sale at orangeartgallery.ca. So check them out and we'll see you on Saturday, February 12th. I feel so vulnerable. <laughs> this Saturday, February 12th, 2022, from noon to 3 p.m., I will be here having tea. So I would absolutely love it if you could come here and join me. And I would gladly answer any questions you have about my painting.